Hello guys, Gaming Champ here and today we're playing Minecraft again. So normal operations gonna cut down the tree. And by the way, in case you're wondering why the series isn't named Peaceful Survival and instead is named Minecraft Survival, even if it's actually on peaceful mode. Well, again, once I finally craft diamond weapons and once I get a hold of shields, and once I make bows and arrows, and once I okay. So uh, again, once I get a hold of shields, diamond weapons, bows and arrow, bows and arrows, and probably and probably tridents and all the stuff I need to keep <coughs> myself alive in normal survival, I will be putting it to at. I'll be putting the difficulty to at least normal. But for now, it is peaceful. Because, well, I don't like the idea of being mobbed to death by a bunch of Minecraft monsters right at my doorstep. And also, I need to protect my stuff like my farms and my and my house with Minecraft rails. I re I remember watching a Magma Musen video, and I basically found out that uh, Minecraft monsters avoid railways when they can so I'll turn on uh, normal mode once I put a railway system around here and it'll go around here and then here and then it but uh, and then it goes here. I'm have to take this side block first. And then after that it goes here and here and here until it goes complete circle. Holy frick I almost fell down. And then it goes right around the river and then ends up this carrot farm. Or I can use the rails as the border between my farms and the base itself, even though the farms are actually part of the base. Anyway, um, today we'll be exploring that cave, but first I need to get my tools. But no, I'm not gonna be getting my diamond pickaxe, so I'll still be having my iron axe. Better put these two on the farm starters. Miscellaneous. Where is redstone, redstone, redstone? I just put it under ores. Okay. 
Yeah. So I'm good to go. With quite a lot of space, pretty much enough to explore the entire cave. But then I might as well just get lost. Because, well, I, I did an exploration probably off cam and they found out that this cave system is actually quite vast. It spans like a hundred cave systems everywhere. It's like all over the place. And I can't seem to get a grip. I should give Minecraft torch one twenty come on camera app you're better than this So like, yeah, it's like a, about a gajillion water systems and waterways here. And great. And I get lost again. So I think I might as well... So I might as well put, uh... I might as well put some blue wool markers so that I don't get lost in this giant cave of some sort. So the blue represents the main path. So in case you're wondering why I'm putting all these placeholders, um, I am really scared to get lost in this vast cave of sorts. Hmm. So I'm gonna get some coal. I'm exploring the cave in hopes of finding something like diamond. So, I'm gonna put some stuff over here. So I did some off cam grinding and nearly got lost because wool blocks aren't efficient a placeholder. Kind of shows you how easy it is to get lost in these types of caves like so easy to get lost, so easy to get trapped forever.
And by the way, I'm almost fully stacked on the iron. Just need these four. Full stack. That's all I'm going to be exploring. I did not find any diamonds and I'm quite disappointed because this cave is so freaking vast. How can there not be any diamonds anywhere? I'm sure there is at least one, a single block. So I gotta follow these torches. I should put like stations at the divergent points so that I don't get lost. <coughs> Miscellaneous because these are placeholders and time to put in my second full stack of diamonds. No, I mean, uh, I mean iron. Good job, gaming champ. You just called Iron Diamond. So the most likely scenario I'm going to find diamond is not a cave, but... Whatever the frick that is. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, join my notification squad, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!